Hey guys, it's Jim Nix from NomadicPursuits.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the power of Luminar. It's incredibly powerful. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm, I'm adjusting all my images in it now, some HDRs, some uh, single exposures. I'm using it for my iPhone shots. I'm just kind of using it for everything. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to walk through an editing session on what I do to this photo to show, sort of illustrate the power of Luminar and the flexibility and the different things that you can do. So this is a sunset shot. As you can sort of tell, it's a long exposure. It was shot in Austin near where I live, and this is the 360 bridge. And while there's nothing wrong with the sky, I'm going to completely replace it, and that's another thing you can easily do in Luminar. So I'm going to start by adding a layer. Oops, I'm going to click Add New Image Layer, and I'm going to grab this nighttime sky that I shot in Oregon a number of years ago. So I'm going to put a Milky Way shot on top of it. So uh, after you do that, you grab the gradient mask, and you just sort of click and drag and blend that in so that you can have this Milky Way sky laying on top of your image. So let me just sort of tighten this up and you can move this around to your liking. You got a lot of options there. Once you're happy with it, just click apply. And now you've got a nighttime sky. Look at that, very different already. You can also use the transform tool on this layer. And what you're doing is basically squishing uh, the top layer, which is the nighttime sky. So if you see, I can move it up and I can move it back down, right? So I'm actually going to move it up a little bit, maybe something like that, and click Apply. And there you go. So there's the Milky Way over Austin, which I was able to composite in that new sky in, what, just a minute or two. So I like that. I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm going to start stacking some presets. So this will be an adjustment layer. And instead of filters, I'm going to open the preset menu. And instead of the basic, I'm going to use some custom presets I built. I'm going to start with, uh, let me find, I've got a number of these I've been building. In fact, I'm going to release a preset pack pretty soon. This is one I call, uh, they call me Sunny. So I clicked on that preset, and you can see it's got a lot of things built into it. And you can see that that made a significant change to the colors, right? There it was, and there it is now. I like that. I'm going to add another preset, though. So once more, another layer new adjustment layer. And again, instead of a filter, I'm going to grab another one of my presets and I'm going to use, which one am I going to use? I'm going to use this one click awesome. There you go. But that's too much. It's way too saturated. So I'm going to take that down to about 30. And again, this is a preset I built. You can see it's got a lot of stuff in it. And I'll be releasing a preset pack pretty soon if you're interested. Um, and there you go. There is the image. And I love it. Let me show you where we started. Right, sunset, you know, kind of bluish. And now I've got a, a wonderful Milky Way with these kind of yummy, kind of purple warm tones kind of hanging over the horizon and picking up the lights on the cars and the deep blues here. I'm going to do one more minor change. I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. This time I am going to use a filter and I'm going to use the top and bottom lighting filter. And I'm just going to bump up the bottom a little bit because it's a little bit dark. I'm going to bring up some of the light there. So let me show you what I did. Let me turn off that layer and turn it back on. It just brightened this, uh, the foreground area a little bit. And, and that's really about all I do. The only other thing I might would do is come in here with the eraser. And if you notice, there's a couple little pylons that sit here in the lake. I don't really want them there. And so the lovely thing with Luminar is you have all these tools built in. You have the, uh, the uh, transform, you have clone and stamp, you have this eraser, which I'm going to do and left bracket key will shrink the eraser and right bracket key will enlarge it. I'm going to shrink it. You just click on what you want to erase and it's those two things and then you just hit apply and that'll erase those for you. There you go and I'm all set. Let me show you the erased image layer. See that little dot and that little dot? They just kind of, a, kind of annoyed me a little bit and they're gone. And so there you go. That is a, uh, a full workflow and I use a lot of tools here. I use this sky replacement technique, which was adding a new image layer, as well as using the gradient mask and the transform tool to blend them in. Then I added a couple layers, which were both uh, custom presets that I built. Then I added another layer to add a filter, which was top and bottom lighting. And then I made a couple of uh, small edits with uh, the erase tool. You, you could add denoise if you wanted to. The image isn't particularly noisy to my eye, but you could come in, come in here and add a... Uh, uh, a uh, noise removal. I can't even think of the word. Um, you can remove noise with that tool. You could crop it if you wanted to. There's a million things you can do, but to me that is the power of Luminar. And in just a few short minutes, 
I went from, you know, what was a nice photo to something that to me is very eye-catching, very beautiful, and it was a lot of fun to make. That's the power of Luminar. That's how it works. That's just a, a quick edit. And again, there's a million things you can do, literally millions of different things you can do because there's so many tools built in. But that's how I do it on this one. That's a quick workflow. I hope it was fun for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Adios, people.